Laura Ingraham has come under fire after calling immigration detention centers for children essentially summer camps. The Fox News host was discussing Donald Trump's policy to separate immigrant children from their parents when she made the controversial comment on Monday. As more illegal immigrants are rushing the border, more kids are being separated from their parents, she said on the Ingraham angle. And temporarily housed at what are, essentially, summer camps. Ingraham's words horrified many after pictures were released showing immigrant children lined up in a series of cages created by metal fencing at these detention centers. Scroll down for video One particular photo showed 20 children lying on dark green mats inside a cage, only covered by thin emergency space blankets. Another shows children in a single file line sitting next to one another. Laura Ingraham, like Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity, would happily defend genocide if the Trump administration asked them to do so, he wrote. Author Anthony Bresnikan joked, Laura Ingraham isn't going to hell. She's going to an intense sauna. Many commenters expressed confusion at Ingraham's vision for summer camps. Ah uh, yes, who else remembers singing Come Balya, roasting marshmallows, cage living, and a friendly game of let's never see your mommy and daddy again, wrote Danny Derany. Another joked about what a summer camp would look like if it was run by Ingraham. Your child will learn how to properly fold a foil emergency blanket and how to decorate the inside of a cage, J.D. Durkin quipped. Sign up now for a special lesson in basketball dribbling and mocking school shooting survivors. Act fast, he added, quoting Ingraham's recent controversies with Hogg and NBA star Lebron James. Others called on the public to boycott Ingraham, while some challenged the Fox News host to send her own children to the detention centers. Great at Ingraham angle sounds like a fun summer plan for your kids. Send them down to the detention camps maybe one of those fancy tents, and you can just stay home and work," wrote Amy Siskind. In May, Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced a zero-tolerance policy in which all those apprehended entering the U.S. illegally, including those seeking asylum, would be criminally charged, which generally leads to children being separated from their parents. On Friday, it was revealed that nearly 2,000 children were separated from adults at the border between mid-April and the end of May. Those children are now living in detention centers along the U.S.-Mexico border. Trump's policy has drawn condemnation from medical professionals, religious leaders, and immigration activists, who warned that some children could suffer lasting psychological trauma. American Academy of Pediatrics President Drive Colleen Kraft has even called the policy government sanctioned child abuse. Kraft, who toured an immigration detention center herself, revealed chilling details about a room in which almost every toddler was silent in shock. I can't describe to you the room I was in with the toddlers, she told CNN. What happens to children separated from their parents? There have been reports that children separated from their parents after crossing the U.S. border illegally are being held in facilities for between 45 and 55 days. Wendy Young, president of advocacy group Kids in Need of Defense, said that during Obama's presidency children would be held for about a month while the government tried to find family members in U.S. to take them in. Now, Young told The Washington Post, children are being held for longer before being moved on. She said, we're starting to see that creep up more into the 45 to 55 day range. Discussing what would become the Trump administration's zero tolerance migrant policy last year, then Department of Homeland Security, DHS, Secretary John Secretary told CNN that the Department of Health and Human Services does a very good job of putting the children into foster care or linking them up with family members in the US. The DHS has explained that there are four reasons a child will be separated from a parent if there is reason to doubt the claim of familial relationship between adult and child, if the adult is being referred for criminal prosecution, if there is reason to suspect the adult is engaged in human trafficking, or if there is reason to believe the adult poses a safety risk to the child. Under the Trump administration new policy, all unlawful crossings are referred for prosecution a process that moves adults to the custody of the U.S. Marshals Service 
and sends many children to facilities run by the Department of Health and Human Services DHHS. Under the previous administration, such families were usually referred for civil deportation proceedings, not requiring separation. Because those found to have crossed the border illegally are now being criminally prosecuted, they are separated from their children, who are not deemed responsible for the actions of their parents. As a result, the parents are detained, and, because the children are not charged with a crime, they are not detained with the parents. Nearly 2,000 children were separated from their families over a six-week period in April and May following the inauguration of the policy. Children under the age of four are not separated from their parents, officials have said, but this has been challenged by media reports and rights groups. According to the DHS, the U.S. government is bound by the Trafficking Victims Protection Reauthorization Act of 2008 to release unaccompanied alien children to the DHHS within 72 hours absent exceptional circumstances. This does not apply to people from Mexico and Canada, however, who are eligible to withdraw their application for admission to U.S. Normally toddlers are rambunctious and running around. We had one child just screaming and crying, and the others were really silent. This is not normal activity or brain development with these children. Critics of the policy have only continued to pile as more stories, pictures, and even chilling audio have been released from these detention centers. Ann Chandler, the director of the Houston office of Tahir Justice Center, said she's spoken with several parents who were told their children were going to get washed before guards informed them they would never see their kids again. The officers say, I'm going to take your child to get bathed. That's one we see again and again. Your child needs to come with me for a bath, Chandler told Texas Monthly. The child goes off, and in a half an hour, 20 minutes, the parent inquires, where is my five-year-old? Where's my seven-year-old? This is a long bath. And they say, you won't be seeing your child again. Chandler said that in some cases agents simply tell the parents that they are taking their children away. And when the parent asks, when will we get them back, they say, we can't tell you that, she said. One teenager told an advocate who visited South Texas that she was helping care for a young child she didn't know because the child's aunt was somewhere else in the facility. She said she had to show others in her cell how to change the girl's diaper. Michelle Brain, director of migrant rights at the Women's Refugee Commission, met with a 16-year-old girl who had been taking care of a young girl for three days. The teen and others in their cage thought the girl was two years old. She had to teach other kids in the cell to change her diaper, Brain said. Brain said that after an attorney started to ask questions, agents found the girl's aunt and reunited the two. It turned out that the girl was actually four years old. Part of the problem was that she didn't speak Spanish, but Kitsch, a language indigenous to Guatemala. She was so traumatized that she wasn't talking, Brain said. She was just curled up in a little ball. UN Human Rights High Commissioner Zid Rayyad Al Hussein, meanwhile, said of the situation, the thought that any state would seek to deter parents by inflicting abuse on children is unconscionable. The Jordanian prince also cited an observation made by the president of the American Association of Pediatrics that removing the children from their parents was government-sanctioned child abuse. Stefan Dujeric, the spokesman for Secretary General of the UN Antonio Guterres, said that refugees and migrants should always be treated with respect and dignity, adding, children must not be traumatized by being separated from their parents. Family unity must be preserved. And on Monday, horrific audio was released that captured border agents cracking jokes while crying children could be heard calling for their parents. The audio, which is believed to have been recorded at an immigration facility along the border, was released by ProPublica. The recording was of six-year-old Alison Jamina Valencia Madrid, who was separated from her mother last week out of U.S. Customs and Border Protection Facility. Throughout the audio Alison and other children are repeatedly heard screaming mommy and pop of just moments before the border agent drowns out their sobs with a joke. Well, we have an orchestra here. He's heard saying. What's missing is a conductor.